So, you're socially awkward and wish you knew what to do in social settings, be it an office party, an informal client meeting or even a date. Being awkward gives people a false impression about who you really are. It also prevents you from making great connections and just like a toxic cycle, it creates a psychological disliking for any future interactions in social settings. And then you begin to dread every time an event is coming up. So if you want to get rid of this horrible feeling and begin to live the life that you deserve to have, then still Stick around for some of our simple yet effective tips. Hello there, it's Antoinette and welcome back to our channel. So today I've got some tips that will help you boost your confidence and get you feeling less awkward in any social situation because you can't live your life to the fullest if you're going around all shy and always awkward around people. So my first tip is for you to stop thinking about yourself. I hear you saying, what? Most people feel awkward because they're so overly self-conscious and they worry about what other people might be thinking or saying about them. Whereas the truth is, most people are worried and concerned about themselves and couldn't care less about you. Your insecurities are hardly noticed by other people and most of the time, you're your worst enemy. It's all in your head. So stop yielding to those negative thoughts when they come because they will come. But what matters is what you do with them. Are you going to entertain them or just shove them to the side? You need to get rid of that limiting mindset that is holding you back from doing and being. And although this is easier said than done, it's something that you have to actively and consistently pursue doing because it's just going to help skyrocket your confidence rack all the way up. So the way you work at it is by doing the very thing that you don't want to do. I mean, doing those things that don't come easy to you, you're like, no. And you need to go out there, make the first move, begin to converse with other people, someone you don't know, someone that you won't necessarily on an ordinary day mix with. This is the first step in breaking this. And this links to my next point, which is set the stage to connect to people. You've got to prepare yourself to connect to other people. And this will probably be harder if you're naturally a shy or a reserved person. But once you break out of that box and make that move, you'll see that things aren't as bad as they seem. And this will give you the confidence to keep doing it over and over again until you perfect your skills in this area. So setting the stage really begins with how approachable you are or how receptive you are around people. Believe me, this really works. If you go to an outing and cut yourself off from people, you stay in the corner, yeah, on your phone, you'll continue to feel uncomfortable. You'll even be more awkward. So break out of that mold of awkwardness by making the first move, by taking the steps that are hard to you and it will become easy as time goes on. If you want new and different results, then you're going to have to do things differently. You've got to be brave and you've got to push yourself out of your comfort zone which will break down the barriers many of which are still in your head and with a lack of barriers you'll feel more connected to people more open to genuine conversation and this will all help fizz that awkwardness away so my next point is to check what your body is saying body language and our non-verbal communication is just as important as our verbal communication. Again, this is linked to my previous point of how you feel about yourself is very important because even if you don't show it on your face or on that physical level, you're subconsciously giving off vibes and energy to people around you, which they'll be able to pick up on and they'll be able to feel it. So you want to interact with people with your mindset right you in that positive mode, which flows from the inwards out. And you've guessed it, this will help you feel more relaxed, which in turn will make you feel less awkward. And your body language is also key because people can tell if you're really connecting to them in conversation or not. Are your eyes connected to them or are they looking around the room easily distracted at everything that's going on? Is your body pulling in towards the person that you're talking to or are your feet turned away from them, ready to jet off at the first given opportunity? Are you fully present in that conversation, tuned into what they're saying? engaging both verbally and non-verbally all of these things matter and help you connect basically and in line they help you feel less awkward in fact they help both parties feel less awkward now we go into more detail and give specific strategies in our autumn masterclass that's coming up so if you want to sign up for that please join our free community on our website after watching this video now another reason that people feel socially awkward is that they don't really know what to say in settings like this or if they are having a conversation 
interaction with someone they kind of run out of things to say and then there's this disconnect or this uncomfortable silence which makes things a lot more awkward now there's an art to holding a good conversation and knowing what to say and when to say it now I can't go into too much detail in this video but what I will say is instead of fact fishing which means you ask questions like okay so what do you do or questions that will lead to one-worded answers those quick answers that just end nowhere you want to dig a little deeper and try and engage with that person past the superficial level and more on an emotional intellectual level this is done by genuinely being interested in them as a person and exercising your emotional intelligence people love to talk about themselves so play on that and get them to open up and talk and converse and finally another reason why people might be socially awkward is because they don't know what to do in that setting if you're not skilled up if you're not experienced or you don't know what's appropriate in that setting then this my friends is where we come in the more you learn and educate yourself on how to act the more comfortable and confident you'll feel in those kind of situations so if you haven't already done so sign up to our online community so that you're notified every time we put out an online course or an event comes up these will help you develop your skills for excellence we will have you saying goodbye to being timid shy reserved awkward and hello to the new bold and confident you so in conclusion stop being fearful of the unknown step out and take the necessary steps you need to take to live your life better until next time it's bye for now and see you in the next one